What is going on? These are the top 10. What in the world was that? There are 10 things that will absolutely kill your driving boat's top speed. Number one has to be trim position. If you don't have the right trim position with your setup, you're gonna be dragging the front of your boat, you're not gonna be playing out right, and it's gonna kill your top speed. I did a full video where I walked through every aspect of trim, how to set it, how to test it. Check out that video, link up above, link in the description. Make sure you stick around to number 10. It is the best one, it is the easiest one that's gonna make the biggest difference. Plus, YouTube likes it when you watch the entire video, so stick around to number 10. Number two has to be prop pitch size. This prop that I'm using has a pitch of eight inches, so that means in perfect condition, every revolution, it's gonna move forward eight inches. When you go down in pitch size, that means you're getting more revolutions per foot of travel. That's gonna give you more torque and more power when you're starting out. That's gonna let you plane faster, but it's going to lower your top speed. It's kind of like gear ratio. The lower you go, the lower gear ratio you're gonna have, more power, less top speed. Higher you go, less power, but more speed after you plane out. Number three, weight distribution. I can get four miles per hour difference by having my trolling motor in the back of the boat versus the front. All right, here's a quick speed run. I got trolling motor in the back. Here we go. is total weight in your boat. You want to try to get the weight down as much as possible. One thing that kills little setups like this is having a huge external gas tank. A six gallon gas tank, I mean, it's going to be 40, 50 pounds probably. But what I use is a one gallon emergency tank. I primarily use the internal tank. With this, I can get up to 30 miles. These little setups can go between 20 and 30 miles per gallon. So if you've got a gallon emergency tank, I mean, that's gonna cover you all day. Number five is if you do use an external tank, those gas lines are horrible. They start to degrade. So little pieces of those are gonna come off, get in your fuel filter and kill your fuel flow. And that's gonna hurt your top speed. So if you do use an external tank, you really need to look at swapping out the fuel lines on your external tank with automotive grade. They're gonna last longer and they're not gonna degrade. Number six is your fuel filter. You wanna look and check your fuel filter for contamination every year and change it out. They're so cheap, change it out every year or every two years. Number seven, never use ethanol gas. It itself doesn't hurt your performance of your motor, but ethanol gas has a really, really short shelf life. It attracts water and it's gonna mess up and gum up your carb faster than non-ethanol gas. Number eight, these things don't have air filters, but they do have what they call a silencer. It's a box on the air intake on your carb. Sometimes bugs can get in there and build nests. So you wanna check that to make sure that there's nothing in there that's limiting airflow. Number nine is you got to get a bigger motor sometimes. If you've got a little four horsepower, three horsepower motor pushing 500 pounds of weight, it's kind of pointless going through all these. You're not going to plane out well and you're not going to hit the speeds that you want to. And number 10, probably the best thing that you can do if you've got a small outboard, look at upgrading your carb. So for this, so Mercury four horsepower, five horsepower, and six horsepower is the same exact outboard except the four and five horsepower has a smaller carburetor and they have upgrade kits for about 180 bucks. You can go from a four horsepower to a six horsepower and you're gonna get probably around four miles per hour gain from going from a four horse carb, putting in a six horsepower carb. So check that out. And now let's look at three noteworthy bonus items. The first one is a hydrofoil. A hydrofoil is basically fins that bolt on to your lower end unit. It's supposed to provide additional lift, get more of your hull, more of your boat out of the water, reduce drag and increase your top speed and plane and performance. Number two is float pods. If you have a boat that's really heavy on the transom, if you got a big motor on the back of there, a float pod is gonna help get that back into the boat up. It's gonna help you plane faster. 
honestly float pods they usually add a little bit of drag so it's not going to help your top speed that much but it will add stability to your boat and it will help you plane faster number three bonus item is spark plug if you don't have a really strong spark you're not going to get a lot of power hey i really appreciate the view those are the top 10 things that i feel you can do to make sure you maximize the performance of your setup Get out on the water. It's starting to get warmer here in Tennessee. Get out, enjoy the water, have an amazing day. I'll see you, thank you.